That was really, really well played by the opponent. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to a standard gameplay video. Today we've got an amazing deck for you, but before we jump into that, I just want to remind you, please subscribe to the channel. We do have a giveaway going on right now for a free draft booster of the new Kamigawa set coming out mid-February. The winner will be selected on February 23rd, I believe that's a Wednesday, uh, and it's going to be one lucky subscriber slash follower, all that stuff. There is a video on that uh, on our channel, as well as an article on our website, itresolvesmtg.com. Um, so please do check that out. But let's talk about today's deck. This is brought to you by Country Fried. Uh, I will link the channel down below. Please go check him out. Uh, this is his deck, not mine. I just want to make sure we credit where the credit is due. It's a sick deck though. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. This is a Simic Ramp deck. Now, I don't I don't see a lot of Simic in general, uh, at least on the standard ladder, and maybe that's just my experience, not necessarily the meta breakdown, but like in general, I just don't see it that much. So it's kind of nice to play a Simic deck. And what's cool about this is it's got a really interesting kind of multitude of sub themes here. So obviously it is a ramp deck. The first and foremost, we gotta have the Prosperous Innkeeper throwing out those treasure tokens. We've got Field Trip to throw out some extra lands. Uh, we have got the uh, Quandrix Cultivator here, gonna be able to pull out some lands as well. And then more importantly, at the very top end, we've got things like Ashaya and Ren and Seven, all of which can help us get some cards onto the field, some land cards in particular. But what are we ramping to, right? We gotta have something big. That thing is Storm the Festival. This card is fascinating. I love this one. We've seen it before. We played it before. The idea is essentially to play this and get some really, really nice permanents off the top of the deck. Hopefully be able to flash it back the next turn uh, and just repeat the process. Uh, now, some of the big things that we can get that we haven't already talked about, we've got Unnatural Growth absolutely busted card. If you are the aggressive deck, this is incredible. Uh, and we certainly can be aggressive because we've got things like Scoot Swarm that'll go wide, uh, as well as just some decent sized creatures. Uh, Serith the Viper's Fang, another fantastic card. Untapped creatures you control have Hexproof, uh, other untapped creatures, while tapped creatures you control have Death Touch. Uh, very interesting ability, very powerful card. Uh, and then of course a Sika's Chariot here as well, which is just fantastic. Now, lands also trigger the Ruin Crab, so we're able to mill the opponent if we'd like to. Uh, we can mill ourselves, but I don't actually think that's the way to do it. That's just my, my uh, thoughts. Uh, maybe that's wrong, I don't know, but it doesn't seem like that's the way to do it. Uh, we do have Divide by Zero for a little bit of interaction as well. And of course, we do have a full sideboard full of lessons that we're able to pull out with things like Divide by Zero as well as Field Trip. So all in all, fantastic deck. Again, Country Fried did create this, so thank you so much. Go check out his channel. Small time channel, I believe, like 300 subscribers or something like that. So good, good luck to you, my friend. I hope that it goes well. But let's check out the deck. And again, thank you so much for putting this one together. All right, guys, here we are for game number one with this list. And yeah, a pretty solid start. Uh, the Storm of the Festivals are a little ways off, of course, but what we can do is get a turn two Innkeeper down and then use that treasure token if we need to, to get a forest here. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty confident. We'll lead on the Cascade. Uh, we don't have any turn one plays here, so it's perfectly reasonable to go ahead and throw this out there uh, and hopefully get the Innkeeper down this next turn. Looks like they have an Innkeeper of their own, uh, which is fascinating. Let's go ahead and play ours. <clears throat> and truth be told, if we just get a land here, uh, that's like the best possible thing. Uh, I don't know what option or what's the best option for us to play, but we'll figure that out as we go. Um, I think it might just be the Chariot, honestly. We're not gonna block here, we'll take it. All right, there's the land. Okay, so we have options. We can play a couple of different things, but again, I think the best is just gonna be the Chariot. Let's go ahead and get that down here. I was gonna throw two cats onto the field, which is gonna gain us some life, uh, as well as just have a nice 4-4 uh, that uh, can sit, or, or two 2-2s two and a 4-4 four four that can uh, block as needed or attack in, whatever we feel the need to do. Um, 
opponent has four cards left in hand. Worth noting, they are black green, which does lead me to believe that they're gonna have some number of uh, pretty easy removal spells. Um, or even like a Meat Hook Massacre. This could very easily be that style deck. So uh, just some things to think about. It looks like they're going to Containment Breach on the Chariot, uh, which makes a lot of sense. It's a powerful, powerful card. So getting it out of there now uh, is certainly a good play. But you know, we still get those two twos left behind here, uh, which feels pretty good. So I'm not terribly upset by that. Um, all right, so what do we want to do? Uh, we can innkeeper or we can just field trip. I actually think field trip is the play here. Um, <clears throat> this goes ahead and throws a land onto the battlefield, but then additionally what we can do is just pull out basically whatever we need. Let's make sure we're looking at everything here though. I think it's just environmental sciences. Not a super exciting play, of course, but I think it's reasonable enough. Uh, and we'll see what the uh, opponent wants to do this turn. Again, fully expecting a Meat Hook Massacre at some point, um, but we'll see how that goes. They are going to attack in. Uh, I do think we just take the block. Uh, we lose one of our cats, but we get rid of the 3-2, which is very important for us, and they get to draw a card. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's play the Innkeeper. Uh, this is going to create a treasure token, gain us a life. Let's play the Ruin Crab. Uh, gain us two more life, and then let's go ahead and environmental sciences. This is going to allow us to pull out a land here, uh, which is useful because now we've got the Ruin Crab. So uh, let's go ahead and mill three on their side. Uh, oh, duh, I'm dumb. <laughs> One thing I mentioned in the deck deck is that we should mill, we could potentially mill ourselves. We can't even do that. That was stupid, uh, but that's okay. We are going to get an attack in for two here. We want to get them as, as low down as possible so this elixir isn't drawing them as much. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, sure. I mean, you got it. That is a substantial play. Uh, now, they only have got three cards to work with here, so I'm curious to see what ends up happening. All right. So far, not that exciting. Uh, but I'm kind of okay with that. Hmm. So we do have the Cultivator, that's able to come down, get us a land, uh, which is very crucial. So they're gonna get another permanent from their graveyard and throw it into their hand. Okay. It's kind of fine. Um, Meat Hook Massacre is very good, but there's not a whole lot on the field at this point. Now, obviously they're drawing quite a lot of cards, but we're gonna go ahead and do the Cultivator play here. This gets us up to six mana. Uh, which again is a very, very crucial number here. I think we just go green. We need as much green as we can get. And then next turn we just storm. Uh, I think is just gonna be the play. That just seems like the, the most powerful option. Nice little two for one. That's scary. That's very, very scary. Uh, but again, might be able to get there. We'll, we'll see. Um, I really do like the play pattern of this list. It just feels very good. That game life mechanic, oh, so good. Okay, let's do this first. We're gonna hold off on the land because Scoot Swarm is certainly a thing, so we wanna make sure we're not uh, losing out to that. Let's go ahead and throw both of these down here. Uh, this is nice because we are gonna get some mill uh, action going. Doesn't really matter what land we get. Mill a few cards on the opponent's end. Uh, and we'll play a Field of Ruin, which is just going to do the same thing, essentially. Um, and at some point, we can just uh, try and kind of force the issue, get another the land drop, which is going to help mill even more. So we'll, we'll see. Now, they are going to be able to deal quite a bit of damage here, which is kind of scary. Uh, and they can also just Meat Hook Massacre for a lot at some point and win, um, which is even scarier. But... Uh, we do have another Storm the Festival coming, which is good. Okay, so we have to sack a creature. We'll just sack the 3-4. The we do want to kind of keep this Ruin Crab around if we can. Uh, and again, they do get a permanent back, uh, which is scary. Deadly Brew is definitely a scary card in this list. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So... We're two mana away from a flashback Storm the Festival. Um, but we might be able to get there. 
That's very good. So now they're really able to do a lot. Uh, that's terrifying. <laughs> uh, absolutely terrifying, and this is definitely going to uh, deal some major, major damage here. Sure. All right, hit for five. Uh, don't love that. They're going to draw an extra card. Um, not going to do anything. They just get the... Uh... Yep, fair enough. Uh, they do have a treasure token, so they are going to put 1-1 one -one counters. Ooh, ooh, that's very good. Okay, so how much mana do we have, though? We're one short. Oh, that feels terrible. All right, well, let's do this now. Um... I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, this mills quite a bit, which is very, very useful. Um, unfortunately, we're still short of doing anything else, which is kind of problematic. But now any creature we play is also a land. Uh, I wish we, oh, we can, duh, of course we can. Perfect, so let's go ahead and do this. This is gonna give Hexproof here. Uh, which is very relevant. Uh, and this does get a couple more mills because, of course, these are lands. All right. I mean, we're not out of the woods by any means, but that's pretty good. This is still terrifying. <laughs> uh, we just don't really have a good play there. Okay. That's fine-ish. Right? We'll see. Oof, this is scary, scary. Uh, yeah, so they get to throw more counters around and they get to do it again. So they may just win this turn, I suppose. I don't know how much damage they can deal, but it's a lot. It is a substantial sum. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so... Definitely have to block here. Here, nine. There, so then five gets through plus nine, 14. But then they don't have mana. F well, they can untap for Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, yeah. So now they can pay 10, untap for Meat Hook Massacre, and win. Man. We were pretty close. I, I think next turn we could have done some major, major work against them. Um, but hey, they got it fair and square. That was really, really well played by the opponent. And what a game that was. Fantastic. There we go. All right. Unfortunately, starting out with a loss, but fret not. We've got more games to come. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And this is, I think, a keep. Uh, we do need an extra land, but if we can get one or two extras, uh, we, we should be good. And this is a ramp deck, so I have to assume that we might be able to find some. Uh, let's do this. We definitely just turn turn one the Brewing Crab. Hope for the best. Hopefully they don't have a uh, Blood Chief's Thirst or anything like that. Although Infernal Grasp will do it. Fair enough. Um, at the very least, we did trade two mana for one mana. So some amount of positive around that, but no land still. Uh, so, not in a great place, <laughs> uh, hopefully. Oh no, it's starting guys. It's starting, we haven't been mana screwed in a very long time, but unfortunately it looks like that's just gonna be the case this time. Yep, okay, I mean, it's a land, it's a turn late, but it's a land. I don't like throwing a Scoot Swarm out into four untapped black mana because obviously they just have a removal spell, but kind of have to do it, kind of need to burn it. Uh, and truth be told, we're not under a lot of pressure, so as much as we can get out of their hand, the better, because once we do have enough mana, theoretically, uh, we should be in really good shape here. So three mana is pretty crucial for our deck. There's a lot we can do for three mana. Uh, Prosperous Innkeeper helps. It gets us a treasure, which allows us to then cultivate her. Uh, so that is relevant. And then of course the life gain can be relevant too. It can offset a little bit of this eye witch damage. That's bad. Um, <laughs> uh, this is very good, but um, again, we might be able to make something happen here. Okay. I'm gonna go this route. This 
may be incorrect, I don't know. Um, but I kind of like this play because again, now we're gaining two life per creature. Uh, it also sets us up to keep these treasure tokens a little bit longer, which I think is useful. And it offsets this damage that's coming through. Now, if they just have a Meat Hook Massacre or something, that sucks, but they don't, so that's good. Um, do we just a Shia? I think we have to, right? We have to get this down so that way we can actually continue playing. <laughs> uh, good news is we gain a little bit of life here and we have a 6-6 six, six now. Uh, we can't play that, but that's fine. We'll attack both here, try and kill the Lolf. Sure, so they get to kill one of these, but that's actually okay. That's not the end of the world. Uh, we still kill the, the Spider Queen here, which I think is much more important anyway. Okay. Well, they kind of got us there then. Uh, the Deadly Dispute definitely got us, but uh, that's okay. Interesting play pattern by the opponent. That was very, very solid. Okay, cool. Now, crucially, we left ourselves off of six mana, which is not necessarily good, but they're going to kill this anyway, so I don't think it really would have mattered. Um, just kind of have to hope for the best. I don't know. We're, we're very unfortunately not getting the lands we need, so Ashaya was our big hope there and didn't really last, did it? So... It's a land, but it's a tapped land. Uh, so the best play for us, go ahead and play the Ruin Crab here. Uh, that's gonna gain us a life. And then we can just throw this down. Now the only good news here is this can kind of freely block at least one of these. Um, it's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. I mean, it saves us a point of damage and we are gaining some life here. So there's some relevancy there. Um, and we are at four mana now, so there's some help uh, that we desperately, desperately needed. Um, yep. They're gonna put a counter here. Um, all right, let's hope for the best. <laughs> uh, good news is these Field of Ruins are like not necessarily ideal for the opponent to run at the moment because of the Ruin Crab. Um, we do get a land off of those, but I'm sure they've got they've got the Necrotic Fumes here, so they can kill it. Okay, fair enough. This Prosperous Innkeeper is honestly doing quite a bit of work for us. Just being able to keep things alive here is uh, quite relevant. Um, gaining the life is crucial. Okay, uh, I think what we'll do is just go for an island. Um, they have blue in the deck. Did we know that? Why do they have blue in the deck? All right, taken two. Land, land is amazing. Um, okay. I think we go a Sika's Chariot. I think that's just a good solid option to gain us some life, get some blockers on the field. I know that this takes us off of the six mana play, but I still think that's worth it. I am gonna attack in here for one. I don't think there's a reason not to, uh, since we're not blocking here. Just keeps them away from hopefully getting a minus three again. Uh, we'll see. Destroy all creatures. Yep. You got it. Uh, so now they could trade this in for two more creatures if they'd like. Um, and they also get a creature from the graveyard. It's thankfully just an Eye Witch, but they are at the ever crucial seven mana, uh, which is not ideal. Now I'm wishing we had done the uh, Cultivator play just so we'd had six mana here. If we draw a land, yes. Okay. That's very, very useful. So let's do this seriously. Uh, that's bad. All right. We got two lands. We found all the lands. So that's... <laughs> that's something, I suppose. Yeah, you got it. Um... What do we do? They could have just killed us this turn. They missed lethal with the hive. Um, that's kind of silly. I wonder why they didn't go for it. Maybe they just missed it. 
I mean, might as well storm again. There's no reason really not to. Uh, I guess we just do this. This gives us the maximum amount of things. <laughs> uh, yep, would love to take that action. Uh, let's do this. I mean, this is a pretty good turn, as you're seeing. Once you get the the mana, it's pretty solid. But uh, unfortunately, it's not really done that much for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is going to allow us to copy a token. Now they can just block this, I know. But <laughs> and truth be told, it doesn't matter. Um, they've got more than enough to kill us here, so it, it really doesn't matter at all. But uh, we got to try. sure. Uh, I still think it's interesting that they missed lethal. They All they had to do was activate the hive. There's the mascot exhibition, um, which is really just overkill at this point. <laughs> but that's fine. I mean, go for it. We're not anywhere close to milling them out. Um, only halfway through the deck here. We can field of room one of the hives at some point, but... Right. Um, ugh, this is terrible. So we just die anyway, right? Yeah, we we they they definitely just had us here. Um, fair enough. I mean, we definitely started off on the back foot on that game. I think we. Have we been a turn or two earlier with the Storm the Festival? We might could have gotten there, but that's okay. Let's jump into a game three. All right, guys, we have to get a win this time. Uh, do we feel this hand is good enough? Um, it's not great, right? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mulligan. I'll take this, uh, and I... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just that. This is actually pretty solid. Uh, if we can keep things around, we'll be in good shape. We may not be able to, but I I have hope, um, at least. <laughs> All right, that's terrifying. Um, let's get the land down. Mill for a few. Some good cards that we milled there, which is good, um, but they are gonna get a good solid attack in here and I'm sure they can fight off, yeah. Cool. They got it. Um, another Scoot Swarm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try the Scoot Swarm route. I'm not confident on this at all. If they just have another fight spell, it this play is basically useless, but I think if they don't, we get blockers. So like the upside there is certainly relevant. <clears throat> uh, and it looks like might get something going here. All right, um, I'm gonna do this. We're very island heavy at the moment, which is kind of problematic, but at least now we can block some things uh, with these little one ones. Maybe. They didn't have a kill spell last turn, at least they didn't want to play it last turn, which is, I think, a big tell that they probably don't have any in hand. Uh, if they did, I think you would try and play it very quickly. Sure. Uh, the draw there is a little scary, but we do get to freely block those two, which is useful. There's a Ruin Crab as well. Uh, let's Ruin Crab. Let's Field Trip. Get the green. Um, and I think we take the introduction to Annihilation here. Um, that mills a few cards. Again, some very relevant cards that we get to mill there, which is nice. Now we're still under quite a bit of pressure here. Um, that having trample. Does this have trample? I thought it did. Maybe it doesn't. Nope, it doesn't. That does. That's terrifying as crap. Um, okay. So we block here, and we block here. Yeah. 
take a crap ton of damage. Um... We have to get rid of that. I just don't think there's another option. Uh, they do draw a card, which is unfortunate, but I think we have to get rid of Vorinclex there. We do get two extra Scoot Swarms now, um, which we can't attack. This is a bad, bad, bad place to be. Um, which they can just activate a, which they don't plan to, which is interesting, okay. All right. Um, I think we give up on the Ruin Crab Dream. I think we just take the rest. Oh, that gets, oh man. That was entirely my misplay. I can't believe I forgot about that. You can activate it to give it trample. Oh, mistake. All right, we're gonna give this one one more shot, guys. Let's see if we can get one win with it. All right, guys, this is definitely our last game, but uh, feeling pretty good with this hand. We've got the Ruin Crab into Field Trip into Ren and Seven, so I actually like that quite a bit. Let's go ahead and throw that Ruin Crab out there and see what we can do. Uh, unfortunately, we have, we've we been misplaying, let's be honest. Uh, I've definitely been misplaying a good bit with this deck, uh, which is, you know, unfortunate. It is what it is. You can't, uh, can't solve it, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get somewhere this game. Uh, the Ruin Crab is nice. We did hit a very good card at the very least. Uh, Deadly Dispute's quite good as well, so it's nice to get that out of there. Probably going to end up eating a removal spell here. Not quite yet. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, that means we're at least going to get an extra one or two mils off of this, which is very relevant. Ooh, a Shia. Yes, please. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's do this. Get three cards. All right, let's field trip. Go ahead and get a forest and... Uh... I think it's just environmental sciences, but... And again, hitting some semi-relevant things. Um, at the very least, this Ruin Crab has milled a decent number of cards, so I'm perfectly happy with that. We've gotten three mills off of it, uh, so that's good. Ah, okay, so they do have the portable hole here, so they're going to be able to get rid of that. Uh, that's annoying, but not the end of the world. Uh, and we do thankfully have some follow-up plays that are actually quite good here. So I think the play is just a Shia. Now this might be incorrect, but uh, this has to have a removal spell. Like they literally can't do anything but remove this. Otherwise they're in a really bad position. The portable hole doesn't do it. Ren and Seven's creature token would be able to uh, get hit with that portable hole, which is why we played the Ashaya first. Um, now, additionally, we can just do some shenanigans with this later, but uh, I, I think that that's pretty relevant. This does have Menace, which is quite scary, but uh, we actually have the environmental sciences to help get rid of that. So let's do this. Uh, or excuse me, the field trip, not the environmental sciences. Um, all right, so let's do this. Uh, we'll take the introduction to Annihilation and we will go ahead and play the Cultivator. Happily taking a follow-up forest. Um, okay, here's to hoping. Uh, we have the answer to this, which is very good. Uh, and we do have a 10-10 now, so. Oh, okay. Uh, well, we still get to play it, so that's not the end of the world either. Uh, I guess a better play could have just been the Renan 7 and then minus for the token, just to have an extra blocker and an extra land, kind of. But, uh, I mean, it is what it is. It's a bit more of a risky play to do this, I suppose, but it sets us up quite nicely. Don't kill a Shia. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not sure what the opponent is considering here. They've only got two mana. They might have a kill spell. They do. Sure. 
puts two counters on this, uh, and it gains Menace until the end of the turn. That's that's pretty strong, honestly, and a deck like this that's trying to obviously go crazy with it. Um, so we're going to take a nine. Yeah, I don't love that. Um, and they do have the flyer here. Now, we've got the Renin 7 token that can help deal with that. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be the seventh land. Yeah, so I think we have to do this first. Grab you. Uh, we'll play you down. We'll go ahead and get rid of this. Now we're back up to five life. Uh, they can deal four with the Elite Spellbinder unless they can remove the Cultivator. Uh, if they can remove the Cultivator, we're just dead. Um, are we just dead anyway? Yeah, we are. Duh. All right, fair enough. Man, no wins with this deck. Oh, that feels so bad. All right, let's, uh, let's chat about it. All right, so again, before we talk about this, I just want to say, Country Fried, thank you so much for putting this list together. Please go check out Country Fried. Uh, they are, again, a small time channel, like 300, 350, some like that, some subscriber count like that. Please go check them out. Uh, this is That is where I found this deck, so I do want to make sure credit is, is where it's due. But uh, unfortunately, no wins. Uh, a little surprising, because I felt like we were pretty close with a lot of these games. I definitely definitely misplayed uh there are a number of things that i could have done a lot better that i just either forgot didn't think of uh didn't plan for it is what it is definitely mistakes on my end so uh i think given a fair test of the deck um we could have done a little better don't think it's a tier one list but uh we're looking for jank anyway and this definitely was uh, a fun one to play so thank you again country fried for uh throwing this up on aether hub thank you to everybody else who is watching make sure you subscribe to enter the giveaway we have a full kamigawa neon dynasty draft booster box on the line for one lucky community member so go check that out thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you all very very much have a fantastic weekend we'll talk again very soon